We've done a talk about happy landings. Put your hands together for John. Thank you very much, Pete, for uh, your introduction. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here at the inaugural Solar Sphere. I look forward in 20 years' time when this event is 10 times bigger yes. to say that I was here at the very first event. A bit like Glastonbury, you know. <laughs> I was there when it all started. So, um, also, I, I should thank uh, the organisers for, for giving me the opportunity to give myself, for the first time ever, the, the byline that you can see there, President-elect of the Royal Astronomical Society, because I was elected just a few weeks ago, and this is the first talk that I've given since then, so it's the first time that I've be, ever been able to... Thanks a lot. I, actually, I have to be on my best behaviour because there's one member of the Council of the Royal Astronomical Society here, and I think she's spying on me, so I have to, <laughs> I have to behave, particularly late at night in the bar. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to talk about uh, happy landings, spacecraft landings, and I'm going to start by asking you to do just a tiny bit of work, and to sort of put this into context, to remind ourselves where have we landed spacecraft? Landed rather than crashed. We've crashed in quite a few places, but I'm talking about controlled landings. So, what was the first astronomical body that we landed a spacecraft on? I'm not talking about astronauts necessarily, just unmanned space probes. So where was the first place we landed? In the 1960s. <laughs> the moon. That was the moon. I think that's right. Oh. Yes. So Luna 9 in 1966. So that was the first soft landing ever. Where was the second place we landed? Mars. Mars. I think it was Venus. Yes, Venus. Venera 7, 1970. Third place? Mars. Mars. Yeah, Mars 3, 1971. Interestingly, the first three were all Soviet missions. Um, they were, in the early days, they, they, they were probably, at least in terms of unmanned probes, were, were, were in the lead, but that then changed in subsequent times. Right, where was the fourth place for a controlled landing? And I'll give you a clue, there was a long gap, 30 years, I think. Croydon. Croydon, <laughs> nearly. <laughs> Have another go. Was it Titan? Titan, yeah, 2005, landing on, on Titan, um, which is what I will talk about. And then number five. Feline, yes. Comet. Rosetta at the end of last year. Just, just as an aside, there have been a couple of sort of landings on an asteroid. There was a semi-soft landing by uh, a NASA craft and there was a Japanese craft that just grabbed some samples from an asteroid and sort of landed for literally seconds. But I don't really count those, those, those are great missions. So those are the sort of five places that um, we've had uh, controlled landings on. 